Hello friends, this is Lady Flora, and uh, sorry if it's a little noisy. Uh, my neighbors are doing some work on their roof, uh, so it's a little loud, but it's awesome. Now they'll have an awesome roof. But today's Friday, so I wanted to do Fiction Fridays, um, and I've been wanting to review this book for quite a while, but I kind of wanted to finish it first. And um, uh, I've just decided I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> um, so it's called Shardick by Richard Adams. And Richard Adams did the um, to the, the books. Um, well, my mind just went completely blank. Watership Down. Richard Adams did Watership Down. And he also did a nature diary, which is pretty cool. Um, and I really enjoyed reading Watership Down. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, I just really liked the way he wrote the animals. Like, it didn't have to be bunnies. It didn't have to be um, any animal. It could be people. It could be mice. It could be cats. It could be any any person that feels vulnerable and is searching for a new dwelling. But anyways, um, the movie was a little different. I know a lot of people um, were traumatized by the movie in the 80s. <laughs> but, um, but I liked the book quite a bit and so I blindly went into this book thinking that it would be like Watership Down and that it would be about bears that, you know, anthropomorphized bears living in the forest, overcoming some struggle, working together as a team, and that's not what it's about at all. Um, it's about people, boring old people, people who actually worship a bear, um, which, I don't know, I can understand, you know, like, worshiping, like, the spirit of a bear or something, but like an actual bear, I just, I don't know, it's not a bad book, I just didn't like it, I'm just gonna put it that way, um, it's also kind of dark, there's a lot of people making really bad decisions, um, which is really frustrating as a reader, because you're like, ah, you're doing it wrong, you're doing, you're doing the thing you're not supposed to do, and it's just frustrating, I mean, I'm not saying the author is doing it wrong. The author is wonderful. I love, he, he's just a genius. Like, um, some of the descriptions that he writes of the forest and um, flora and fauna is just really beautiful. Um, so I really do like this author quite a bit, but I'm just not feeling chartic at all. And it's a really big book. I was really hoping to... Um, to get through it and to feel really great about it and to tell you all about it and be excited because I like to keep these podcasts positive but yeah it just didn't happen for me um I'm really close to the end and um there's just some really awful stuff that happened toward the end and it finally got to a point where things were getting nice and I'm like I might just stop reading it right now <laughs> and just leave it at that because I don't know I don't I just don't want to go into all that awfulness anymore but so yeah Shardick by Richard Adams read if you dare maybe you're brave maybe you are up for a challenge if um, if I think it's not a bad book maybe if I think it's a bad book, maybe you feel like proving me wrong. So that would be cool if you want to read it and prove me wrong. That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, but I don't want to leave you on a sour note. So I have something really cool to show you that I saw the other day. And here it is. these guys just hanging out. There's a turtle and an anhinga. They're just friends. They're buddies. Says, hey, can you tell me where the fish are? I'll 
I'll tell you where all the good seaweed is. <laughs> I think the Senhinga is kind of wishing that the turtle would move out of the way. I don't know, maybe they're just best friends. Is he going to stand on him? So what do you think, Anhinga? Does it does he taste good? Does his shell taste good? So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, <laughs> It was really cute and um, really sweet and, I don't know, weird at the same time and entertaining. And I'm sorry again for all the banging. I really hope it doesn't lessen the enjoyment of this vlog. <laughs> if you're new here, um, I would love to have you subscribe, comment, like, share. I make a nature diary five times a week because I believe that connecting with nature can have a positive impact on your life. So I would love it if you did comment, like, share, subscribe, all those awesome things. And then after you do that, go outside and have a splendid day.